Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be telling you my legend, which is why Sukahaka Possum's tail is bare. Long ago, uh, Sokohaka had a long bushy tail. He would walk around in the forest and strut and brag about it. And at that time, Kuno, the skunk, had a slender and bare tail. <laughs> and Sokohaka would follow him and laugh at him make fun of him. <laughs> and at that time, Kuno became very angry. <laughs> Kuno had uh, gotten very angry at him, and so he went over. And uh, had asked asked uh, Sokohaka if he was going to attend the big dance the next night. And Sokohaka had said, of course I'm going to the dance. I want to show off my beautiful tail. <laughs> and so Kuno decided to play a prank on him. He got together with Cricket. <laughs> and said, I'm going to play a trick on him. I'm going to switch his tail. Will you help me? Cricket said he would help him. Uh, Kuno had given Cricket directions to go to help and prepare uh, Sokohaka's tail for the big dance. So they agreed to it, and the next morning Cricket went to Sokohaka's house. And Sokohaka had laid on a cane platform while Cricket had prepared his tail for the big dance. He went and brushed his tail, pretending to brush it. Instead, he was gnawing it off instead. <laughs> so, so Luca finally nodded off and went to go get Kuno's tail. <laughs> and he tied it on with deer skin. And he tied it and tied it and sewed it on. And Salota told Sokohaka that when he goes to the big dance to take it off and that it would keep his tail smooth. So Sokohaka went to the big dance that night. And as he was entering into the big square ground, he entered in and took off, took off his, his deer skin and started to dance. And this. And they started laughing at him. All the animals started laughing at him. And he looked and he thought they enjoyed his dancing. So he danced harder and harder and faster. And they grew louder and louder. And so he looked down at his tail and was surprised that it was bare. And he, he ran out of the square again and went up to the nearest street and just cried and was so embarrassed while the other animals came and they threw stones at him. And they threw stones at him and one of them had hit him in the head and he fell and on his way down to the ground his tail had uh, hung around the tree. And so to this day, that's why Sukahaka hangs from a tree from his tail, and also why his tail is there. Thank you. <laughs>